How to grow autoflowering seeds week by week. In this video, you will learn how to grow autoflowering seeds week by week. You will learn how to use nutrients and will see the evolution of an autoflowering strain. How long do autoflowers take from seed to harvest? Autoflowering strains typically move from seed to harvest in 8 to 10 weeks, although some varieties can take up to 12 weeks. What is the light schedule for autoflowering strains? Autoflowering strains don't require a change in the light cycle to enter the flowering stage. You can grow them under 12 hours light, 12 hours darkness, 18 hours light, 6 hours darkness, or a full 24 hours of light. The light they receive will determine the size of the plant, but it will also affect the cost of your grow. Week 1 – Germination and Early Seedling Stage Germination usually takes 1 to 3 days. You'll need to prepare a suitable soil mix. Autoflowers don't need as much nutrients as photoperiod varieties and prefer light and airy soil. After you've prepared the mix, add some Easy Boost organic nutrition to the blend. Add some mycorrhiza to the soil. These symbiotic fungi will bind the root system and help your plants uptake nutrients more effectively. Poke a 10 to 15 mm deep hole into the pot with your soil mix. Plant the seed into its final pot to avoid the stress of repotting. Make sure the relative humidity stays around 80% and the air temperature is between 22 and 25 degrees Celsius. Week 2, Late Seedling Stage. Say hello to your seedling. Photosynthesis has started. Easy Grow Booster tablets can be used. It complements Easy Boost organic nutrition perfectly. You can water your plants with this solution twice a week. Week 3, Vegetation well underway. You'll notice new fan leaves forming, which will ramp up photosynthesis. Relative humidity should be at 50% and the room temperature at around 20 degrees Celsius. Feed the plants twice a week with Easy Grow. Your plant will be around 15 centimeters in height at this point. Reposition your light so it hangs around one meter from the tip of the canopy. Week four, late vegetative phase. Your plant will be nearing the beginning of the flowering stage. You may start to notice some pre-flowers forming at the nodes on your plant. Make sure the relative humidity is at 45% and the air temperature is at 20 degrees Celsius. The light should be positioned at 70 centimeters from the canopy. Your plants now need around half a liter of water per 24 hours. You can feed them twice a week with Easy Grow. Week 5. Flowering begins. You'll start to see small sacs topped with hairs emerging at the nodes. These will gradually turn into sticky and resinous buds. Your plant will be roughly 30 centimeters tall at this point. Relative humidity should be at 45% and air temperature at 23 degrees Celsius. Position the light at 65 centimeters from the canopy. During this week, the plants will need one liter of water per 24 hours. You can start feeding your plants with Easy Bloom. Change the settings of your LED light from blue to red. This encourages the budding process and helps plants stretch and expand during the early flowering stage. The plants now have a higher demand for phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium, and less of a need for nitrogen. Week six, things start to smell. During week six, drop the humidity to 40% to minimize the risk of mold. The air temperature should be around 24 degrees Celsius. Make sure the light is hanging 45 centimeters from the canopy. Increase the amount of water to 1.5 liters per 24 hours. Feed the plants three times a week with Easy Bloom, half a tablet for every three to five liters of water. Keep an eye out for any odd banana-like structures protruding from buds. This signals that your plant is hermaphroditic and attempting to pollinate itself. Week seven, routine checks are key. Focus your time and energy on keeping the grow room in balance. Conduct routine checks with a magnifying glass to search for pests like thrips and spider mites. Keep the relative humidity at 40% and the room temperature at 24 degrees Celsius. Make sure the light stays 45 centimeters from the canopy. Keep watering your plants with 1.5 liters of water every 24 hours and feed them three times a week with Easy Bloom. Week eight flush and defoliate. Your buds will be looking thick and resinous at this point. 
most auto flowers will be ready to harvest soon. Maintain a relative humidity of 40% and a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Adjust the light as your plant grows, keeping it 45 centimeters from the canopy. Stop feeding your plants with Easy Bloom at this stage. Instead, simply flood the soil with as much water as it can hold. During this week, you can start defoliating the plant. Week 9, the finish line approaches. Keep the relative humidity at 40% and the air temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. The light should remain at 45 centimeters from the canopy. And keep watering your plants with 1.5 liters of water every 24 hours. You'll notice the fan leaves starting to become discolored and even drop off. Don't be alarmed, this is a natural process. Week 10, harvest time. You will know your buds are ready to be snipped when the majority of trichomes are milky in color and the pistils have taken a reddish-brown hue. Don't worry if your plant seems behind or ahead at this point in the timeline. Some autos mature faster than others.